Hey guys, Sam from Amphis Makes and me, Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, please give us a thumb. Thank you so so much. They are free and they help us out a lot. Okay, so you are seeing this on Friday, and every Friday here on this channel, we run through all the crochet we have been up to in the past week. Some weeks, videos go on for the best part of an hour, because there is a lot to show. This week, that is not the case. Mantha has done barely anything. So, should be short and sweet, but you do know that Mantha can waffle. So, let's see how it goes. Okay, so... I'm going to catch you up with my luck of the draw seven. Mike is not participating this time. No, no, no. Only I. So, I will show you what progress. Remembering that this is my, what I'm calling my ugly experiment. I am using a main colour of mushroom in Stylecraft Special DK. It is like a tanny tinge of purpley neutral and then I picked eight different self-striping or variate variegated yarns in my stash easy for me to say tonight what? Um, so it is a little bit ugly in my opinion but guys I weaved in all my ends so there's no more ends apart from the bit that I'm attached to so Starting from the bottom, it was main colour, week one. Main colour, week two. Main colour, week three. And this is deceiving because it looks all grey. But here you can see that it's a bit like the bloom yarn that you guys across the pond have. But it didn't come in until this end of the blanket. So one end is all grey and one end shows the blooms. And then main colour week four, main colour week five, main colour and this week's that I have added which is pinks, blues, yellows and whites. Apologies if you can hear any background noise there are children doing chores and things and they are watching their phones and I hope it's not loud enough for YouTube to pick up on it because I might get a strike. So bear with me just one second. Okay we're back. So, yes, I added in this lovely pink, blue, white and yellow, which does its own colour effect in the stripe. So, Nan picked the next number yesterday, so I will be heading over and checking out that number as soon as we pop off or at some point on the weekend. Now, some of you newbies might be saying, well, that's all very well and lovely, Sam, but what is luck of the draw seven? It is the seventh time round for Luck of the Draw. It is the brainchild of Nancy over at Nan's Next Knots. I will link her description, her channel in my description box. And basically you have one main colour, as you can see, that goes throughout the whole thing. And then you pick eight other yarns or eight other themes. And whatever number Nan pulls from a hat, the yarn or theme that you have picked that correlates with that number is what you put into your project. Although, some people aren't using yarn or making a yarny project. Some people have gone completely outside of the box this time round and they have assigned it to whips. So if Nan picks out number three, for example, they will work on their whip that they've assigned number three oh, until okay. the next number and then they'll work on that whip, which is whatever that number is. Other people have assigned it to daily chores, so, you know, that week they might have decided that they haven't cleaned their refrigerator out for a while, and, oh, number six is pulled, that's the chore I've got to do this week. It can be used in any context whatsoever, but obviously because we're a crochet channel and so is Nan, I am doing it the traditional way of eight different um, yarns plus my main and then you just wait to see her video, see what number is, and add it to your project. It doesn't have to be a blanket. It can be anything. There has been curtains, bags, amigurumi snakes. Um, like I said last week, Nova Gnome is doing her scrumbles, which are freeform crochet pieces, which she will be putting together to make a shawl. Um, anything you can think of, if you can pick eight 
colours or yarn types or whatever it is that you want to do, um, you can follow along. It lasts for 20 weeks. Um, and yeah, you have a lovely project at the end of it and you don't have to concern yourself about, you know, matching colourways or palettes or anything like that because Nan does it for you. She picks. You just do what Nan says, the luck of the draw. So there we go. Oh, I didn't even discuss what I'm doing, did I? I am all over the place today, guys. I am so sorry. So I have come up with my own kind of stitch repeat. I am doing one row of straight half double crochet, one row of half double crochet in the third loop, back to a row of straight half double crochet, and then back to half double crochet in the third loop. So each stripe is four rows alternating between those two stitches, which gives it a lovely bumpy, ridgy effect and the half double crochet in the third loop creates what looks like knit stitches but they're not it's all crochet and it's just simple mindless oh, crochet for me that's why I've done it that way so that is my luck of the draw seven and then the only other thing I can show you guys is my commission because that is the only other thing apart from uh, the crochet needed for another episode of Have You Ever Wondered, which shall be coming out within the next week, so keep your eyes peeled for that, but I can't show it because obviously it's for that particular segment. So yes, the only other thing I have worked on, no amigurumi this week, I'm really missing it and I've already picked out what I'm doing, so there might be amigurumi or amigurumis next week. Amigurumi. I don't know what the plural is because it's a Japanese word. Oh, yeah. Not an English word, so I'm not sure. So I'm still attached because I've started doing another cable. Now, which is the front? The one with the stitch marker on the sleeve. There we go. So, oh, big beastie. So back down here where the blue stitch marker is, if I pull him from the back, there we go. Can you see him? Not really. There. Can see him. That is the progress I have made on top of that. So not as much as last week, but still a hefty little chunk. And great news, the extra section that I added is now complete. So I just have to finish the next cable along the top and then I can go back the other way and we are on the home stretch. So this is Bonnie Bay Crochet's Celtic cable throw and I always say it like that because in my head I have to bullet point <laughs> how you know to say it correctly so I will link Bonnie Bay crochet down in the description box she has tons of fabulous patterns and I do intend to make many more of her things her pretty pretty things at some point in the future I don't know when but her tutorials are amazing to follow and I would think an adventurous beginner would still be able to create some of these um, stitches because her tutelage is actually really, really clear and really, really helpful. Um, so don't be intimidated. Don't be put off. Give it a go. She has some fabulous, fabulous creations. Um, and I will also link the video tutorial for the Cape Celtic. See? Celtic cable throw. If I say it like that, I don't mess it up. But if I try and speak normally, blah. <laughs> <laughs> So just a refresher, started off down there and we have done various stitches, but remember guys that this massive section, and it's such a dark colour, it's hard to show, from this cable up was the additional section that is not part of Bonnie's pattern. I had to do it because I didn't math and I didn't work it out and I realised it wasn't going to be big enough. So I had to fudge it. So I did 16 extra <laughs> inches of fudgelicious stitching. <laughs> mm -hmm. So all of that I had to add and is not part of the pattern. So where we worked from the bottom up to that extra section, I now have to go in the reverse order to the end, put a little bit of a border around it and job done. But I am now less than a month away until it's her birthday. So the time crunch it's crunching down Very harder real. and I really do need to get a wiggle on it. But um, yeah, that is the yarn that I am using, Stylecraft Special Aran in the colour Emperor, which 
my camera never does any justice to but it is a lovely deep deep rich royal purple and i haven't tied in any ends or anything but we will get there see some of the stitches there look guys anyway that's it from me 10 minutes record it is a very speedy speedy record so yes sorry guys that there's nothing else but Litza is releasing the new colours and stitches for her cowl this weekend, so I'm going to have to get that done. Bless you. Sorry. <laughs> plus, <laughs> plus the next number for Luck of the Draw. I've got itchy amigurumi fingers, so I am going to try and get amigurumi in and obviously much more work on this. So there hopefully will be a little bit more to show next week. I'm going to let Mike showcase what he's been up to. And then we have Nowhere just... Nowhere near as much. Then we just have a smidgy bit of admin at the end, and we shall mm. let you go. Admin. admin. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so as some of you may know, some of you may not know. Welcome in if you don't know. I have started Amigurumi. Yep. And I am doing it from obsessed years. This book here. Mm-hmm. Unicorns, dragons, and more fantasy Amigurumi too. Yep. By Meteor Books. Meteor Books, and. I have chosen to do. Oh no. Yep, camera angles left is right. Nesta. <laughs> the Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster. And I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. So, last week I showed the body. Looks like. A torpedo. A torpedo with a. Yeah, maybe a grenade. You never know. With the stitch markers on. To mark the place for where the head and neck is going to go. That was last week. This week. You also showed the beginning of the head. The but beginning you've of added the head. To it. Yes. But because I've added to it, I can't show you until now. Did he? <laughs> He's so wonky. But I have done the head and the neck, the snout. Put his little eyes in. He is so excitable. He is shouting. That is why I'm it's moving because over. Well, I don't know. And I've done his snout, his, his nostrils. But what were your comments to me about the putting it together? Sewing it together. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> As you can see, it's supposed to be straight. He's holding the head straight. But no, it's not too bad, but <clears throat> I have to do that so you can see his eyes, because if I hold it straight, you can, <laughs> you can only see one. And what did I yell at you for? I did a boo-boo. Not once, but twice. But twice. I sewed it in, and I went right through the back of the head, and he has two dents. But Give I don't care. Gives him character okay. is what we're going this for. This is my first proper toy, not, I literally, not the little chili. This is my first proper one. Literally. And obviously when his head's together, yeah. there he is. Oh, so excitable. <laughs> um, yeah, I was literally just doing my commission and I looked over and I went, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. And he was like, in my snout to my head like literally said it like a scolded child and I went why are you going through the whole head and he was like am I not meant to I wouldn't be yelling at you if you are <laughs> anyway anyway he now knows not to do that yeah. and he now knows that you've got to pick up every stitch around the piece that you're sewing so you don't have gaping holes because when Mount forgot her hands on it, I managed to stuff another, what, fistful of stuffing in his schnoz. But it's all part of the learning process, which I said to Mike, and my sewing skills. How often am I making an amigurumi, and I'm sewing the pieces, mm -hmm. and I'm like, I hate this part. It's worth it in the end. But sewing is not my so forte. So, he has character. He does. Lots of character. He is. 
And he looks exactly... My wonky exa- <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> he looks exactly how he's supposed... You can tell it's Nesta. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. It's not like you've put his snout book. on his forehead. For round countage. Yeah. And that's a very English way of saying it. So not, but it's, yeah. It's a very English slang way of saying it. Mm-hmm. Now, next is the spikes. Oh, yeah. Which will be in this colour. Which no, Mike won't. can cover the dents, or one of the dents at least, with yes. a spike. Yes. And they will be in this colour. Okay. Because the nostrils are in that colour, and I am going to do his flippers in that colour. Mike is switching it up and going rogue. Yes. Like I did and on Child of the Week yesterday. I'm going to do the back spots, as they were, with a little twist. And with different colours. So you'll have to wait and see until I'll get there. But hopefully that won't be long because the rest of the parts are quite small. So yeah. I should hopefully have it finished soon. Soon. He's not going to promise for next week. No. But definitely by the end of the month because you need to get it in yes. for Lynette for Amigurumi I Wars. I do need to get it in. Because... that would be two Amigurumis on this. My very first Amigurumi Wars. Yeah, and tell the good folks what hashtag Amigurumi Wars is just in case they aren't familiar. They've still got time to get one in. So... Hashtag Amigurumi Wars is... 2023. 2023 is the brainchild of Y.O.H. Crochet. Also known as... Also known as... Anita. Anita. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Anita. Hello. <laughs> uh, and is it Miko? Miko is her Miko, little Pomsky. Pomsky, yes. Very yeah. cute. Awesome Order. dog. Um, and basically, in a nutshell, she's figured... She's brainchild of all of this and she picks whoever wants to be involved who has content channel to host it for each month of the year she does the first one and so on and so forth then we all take turns and at the moment each um content creator who has participated or been the host has put their own little twist on it Mm -hmm. which is pretty cool as well yeah and obviously Things have changed from last year. Um, I'm not going to go through them all because I don't really know them um, because this is my first one. So, Uh, But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you make an amigurumi and you hand it in, picture-wise, you get points. Um, Do you like a hand or some of the details? Yes, please. (laughs) (laughs) So this month it's hosted by... Charmed Grammy Crochet. Also known as Lynette, yeah. Awesome. Yes, Go indeed. Check her out. If you make an amigurumi, it can be any amigurumi you wish this time round. Anything you like. But you need to take a picture of it completed and then either email it to Lynette or post it in her Facebook group. And then you will be entered into a prize draw. Now, each different amigurumi will earn you a different amount of points depending on what category it fits. So if it is a free pattern, you are guaranteed one point. If it is a paid-for pattern, which includes books and magazines and things like that, then it's two points. If you use the Spotlight Designer, who we are not allowed to reveal, and neither is Lynette, you'd have to go and check out Anita's channel to find out who this month... And it changes every month. It's not the same person. If you make one of their patterns, it is worth three points. Um, And if you want to know the twist, go and check Charm Grammy Crochet out. Yes, because she has put her own little spin on it and she is having two separate prize drawings. She is having the prize drawing for um, basically everyone that enters, their name is going to be put on a spinny wheelie thing and whoever's picked at random, they will win for that month from the net. And I believe she's doing e-cards, um, so it could be Amazon or you know any other place like that. But her second prize drawing is if you have put her twist into or onto your amigurumi that's a separate prize drawing and she's going to give a second prize for those that have followed the twist and then at the end of the year if you participate all year long with all the different hosts all the different spotlight signers you will be put into a big prize drawing which anita will do and again spinny wheelie thing and whoever wins they receive a prize from every single host that has hosted in that year so that is 12 prizes for the grand winner now the hosts cannot be entered into the grand prize at the end because that isn't fair 
that will go to a viewer or somebody who didn't host but the monthly ones i do believe the hosts not the host so lynette can't win her own giveaway but because we're putting into lynette's our names can go in and we could potentially win lynette's prize and then when it's my month which i believe is october lynette could submit something to me and she will go into mine because she isn't hosting that month i won't put my own name in hope that makes sense but there are prizes on offer and it's just to encourage you guys to get onto the amigurumi bandwagon yes. um and it's very very enjoyable it's very fun and every month there is a different host a different twist a different spotlighted designer so hopefully some point throughout the year there will be your time to shine with your amigurumi so please do join in if you can Mike's severely been bitten by the amigurumi bug massively. He has not put that down. And actually, he is picking that up most evenings. Whereas when it's any other crochet he's done, he can go evenings without even picking his hook up and being A-OK -okay with it. So, I didn't pick it up last <clears> night. <throat> to be honest, guys, this week has been so super busy for the both of us. There have been a couple of evenings where even I haven't managed to pick up a hook, mm. let alone Mike. That is why I had very little to share with you this week. But hopefully next week mm. we will get a little bit more opportunity to do that. And also this weekend um, is an easier weekend child-wise because my boys are going with their dad. So there will be less of them that need our attention. And I think that is all of the crochet. Just one piece of admin and a very important piece of admin, in my opinion is please come and join us tomorrow for my early birthday party but it's not just my birthday party no 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 it is christina's birthday party too because we are birthday twins we were both born on the 22nd of march but as i've said on all of these reminders all week long because i'm not giving you a chance to forget about it we are not going to go live on a school night because both christina and i work outside of the home and we both have young children that need our time and attention and zombie mum is not an option. So we are holding our birthday early on Saturday the 18th, which is tomorrow, guys. Um, but it's over at Christina's channel. So I will pop Christina's channel down in the description box. If you are not a member of her family, please do go and check her out. Chuck us some yarn, subscribe and do the bell and all those wonderful free things. And then please come and join us for lots of birthday live fun on her channel it's going to be the same time as always for you guys across the pond i know you've sprung forward but we're going to keep it at 4 p.m eastern it just means that myself and christina can go an hour earlier than normal and have way more fun with you guys in the process so if you're watching and from the uk or europe then it will be 8 p.m um every other time zone you're gonna have to check because i don't want to give you any wrong times but it's 4 p.m eastern um that you need to be over at christina's to join in all the fun and last chance guys you need to head over to her channel and enter her giveaway if you so wish because she will be pulling those prizes tomorrow night on the live and there are a couple of surprises from myself as well but all will be revealed if you come and party with us so we will see you at the live tomorrow if you're able to make it everybody is welcome tell all your friends get the message out there that that is where mantha and christina are going to be and what we are going to be doing we have taken up enough of your time tonight we will see you for party time tomorrow but until then stay safe be kind look after one another get some good quality time and we love ones don't forget to go and do some amigurumi Get some good quality crafting time in. We will see you in the next one. Or around the YouTube streets. Bye, guys. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye.